In this video, we are going to have a look at Casa de los Navajos which is situated 13 minutes walk from the center of Torremolinos, in Spain's Costa del Sol. We will have a look at what to expect, how to get there, and should it be on your holiday itinerary. Stick around until the end because we will be looking at other attractions nearby, and what we will be covering in the next video. All of our videos have links in the description below for more information and directions from my website. So, let's jump in, and have a look. I'm taking the 15-minute train ride from Los Beliches to Torremolino Station located in the center of town. If you are traveling by bus, then Carla Hoya in Torremolino Center is the best stop. If you are driving then there is street parking in the area. Also have a look at our website for multiple parking options. All with directions. From either the bus or train station, it's a 10-minute walk through the old town. The mini palace stands out from the promenade, with its quirky Arabic design, which became very popular at the start of the 20th century. The family lived in the property until 1991, when it was officially declared a historic building. Today it is considered a tourist attraction and a popular venue for civil weddings. Here's a fun fact. It was the original owner's lifelong dream to build this house. His name was Antonio Navaja Cruz, and he was a local businessman that owned a sugar plantation. The plantation was later sold and Malaga Airport was built on the site. The house is decorated with beautiful tiled mosaics inspired by the Alhambra Palace in Granada. The furniture follows the same theme. There is such an attention to detail here, making it such a photogenic place. The property is free to enter, and to walk around. It opens from 11 o'clock till 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock till 8 p.m., Monday to Friday. If you've got this far into the video, then you must be finding it interesting and enjoying it, so consider giving me a like, and subscribe to my channel. There's loads more videos coming up on what to see, and do, on the Costa del Sol, and surrounding area. Also have a look at the playlist on Torre Molinos for more on what to do here and how to use the Fuengarola Malaga train. I will leave a link at the end of this video.
Now let's look at what else is in the area. The promenade is only a few meters away which is always worth a stroll. The old town is less than 5 minutes away with its winding streets. And around 15 minutes away is Parque de la Botteria which is just beautiful to walk around. There's more information on what to see and directions on the Torre Molino section of my website. So, should the Casa de los Navajos be on your Torre Molinos holiday itinerary plan? Yes, it's free to walk around, very interesting with its Arabic design, and it's close to the old town, and promenade in Torre Molinos. As you can see the property is very photogenic. In the next episode I will be having a look at Sahel Castle in Fuengarola just off the promenade, so watch out for that. If you have been to the Casa de los Navajos, then leave a comment below and share your experience. Good, bad, or ugly. And for now adios. And thanks for watching.